Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Today we're gonna show you a pretty cool, inexpensive way to give your chickens a healthy treat. So if you're like me and you have backyard chickens and you just enjoy watching them peck the ground, this is gonna be a good time for you. So come along today as we show you how to give your chickens a pretty awesome little treat. It's inexpensive, it's fun, and we'll give you a little walk around tour of our chicken coop here on the farm, all right? a little bit nippy by the chicken coop this morning guys it's gonna be a fun time so let me show you what we're gonna be using here we have some twine or string and you can even use dental floss if you want to do this if you don't have any string laying around we have an eye bolt right here we have a little hook attachment and any kind of little hook attachment will work for hanging this up and you'll understand a little bit more here in just a minute and we've got a two dollar head of cabbage so I think you know where this is going if you guys don't give your backyard flock a little treat once in a while they'll not respect you so that's what we're gonna do today so this is a head of cabbage any old head of cabbage will do you can probably pick one up any time of the year you can use lettuce cabbage anything with a head you can use purple lettuce whatever you can get your hands on if you go out to the farmers market and somebody's got an old rotten head of cabbage or lettuce just ask them for it. Sometimes they'll give it to you for a buck, 50 cents, whatever. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our head of cabbage and we're gonna take our eye bolt and you could do this with a nail with pretty much anything. Here I've got an old tent stake. I'm sure a lot of you guys have old tent stakes laying around and you can just press it down in here. But what we're gonna use, I think works the best. This is an eye bolt. So we'll take our eye bolt and we're just basically gonna mash it a little bit and then we'll start turning. The coarser the thread, on the eye bolt, the better it will stick into the core of this head of cabbage or lettuce. It's gonna be a little bit harder with cabbage, a little bit easier with lettuce. So in other words, if the threads are really coarse, these cost 98 cents. I just got them at Lowe's just for this project, just to show you guys. And we're gonna screw that in to our head of cabbage. Once you get it going, it'll screw right on in, just like so. There we go. All right, now there's our eye bolt in the head of cabbage. <laughs> That's something you don't see very often in this world. Now we'll take our string and we're gonna tie a little string on here and put a little loop so we can hang it inside the chicken coop. I'll show you. We're going off the eyeball method. In other words, we're gonna eyeball this man, <laughs> no big deal. So we'll take our eye bolt right here and we're just gonna tie our string onto it. We're gonna run our string right through the loop here and just tie a couple plain old granny knots, any old knot doesn't matter really doesn't matter it's not going to slip off and if it does slip off well all you got to do is pick the eye bolt back up and and retie it so we'll just tie a couple what i call granny knots and then that will hold our head of cabbage up again you could do lettuce also so if you find this stuff on sale or marked down in the grocery store or if you talk to your local grocer and say hey man you got any old rotten cabbage or rotten vegetables chickens love that stuff man they just turn rotten stuff into eggs and food for you which is super cool now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make another loop up top but what i need to do is hang this inside my coop and make sure that it's about this far off the ground anywhere from five to 10 inches off the ground in that good pecking area for the birds. You don't want them to have to reach way up and you don't want it way down. Cool? Okay, simple enough. I'm just gonna take this. This is where the top of the cage would be and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this and let it kind of dangle a little bit. And then I'm gonna take where I stop and I'm gonna tie another knot. So I'm gonna make a loop just like this. And with that loop, I'm gonna make a knot. I'll give you detail here in case you're not a master knot tire. So here's where we want to hang it from. We want to take both the strings, double them up like that. And voila, tie a knot. And then it can hang just like this. And we'll trim off our excess string. And right here is your cabbage. So now the next step in this, I've got this little hook deal and I'm just gonna squeeze that back. And you can just use stuff that's laying around your house. You don't even need a hook like this. You can just tie this up or you can tie it to a stick and stick it up there. Any way you can hang this. And we'll go inside the chicken coop and hang it up and watch the birds just go to it. They're gonna love this. Hey birdies. Hey birdie birds. There you go birdies. There you go. Birdie birds. 
Guys, please excuse the mess. Chickens live here. <laughs> it's always a mess. Your chickens are probably going to do the exact same thing that my chickens are doing. Looking at it, scratching their head, thinking, what in the world is that? <laughs> well, trust me, by the time you put your second one in, they're going to be like, whoa, here it comes again. And <laughs> they'll be like little velociraptors. So it'll take a little bit for these guys to start pecking on this. Chickens are really inquisitive creatures. So understand that they're going to peck at everything that's their sensory organ scratching and pecking so they know food they know water they know peck they know scratch pretty cool we're going to take you around the chicken coop here we'll show you the coop before we go and we'll let you see the chickens as they're chowing down on this cabbage they're already getting a little curious okay so this is our chicken coop this coop has been here for somewhere in the neighborhood of five years and i have yet to have any kind of predator problems whatsoever with this chicken coop now what we have here is an eight by eight outside chicken run and up on top there are gourds these are some gourds that we're drying i'll step on over here and show you these gourds this is how i dry my gourds i just throw them up here on the top of the chicken coop and let nature do its course man so nature runs its course they'll dry out good and we can make them into birdhouses we'll be building a martin colony birdhouse set up very soon here on the farm. So that is an eight by eight, and this is a four by eight setup. We'll come over here and we'll take a look at it. So your chickens need an outside run to get some sunshine, to get some dirt in their lives, and they need an inside place that's secure enough that we don't get critters in there eating the chickens. And you can see the wire goes all the way up to the top here for the chickens. And I'm not using any chicken wire here. I'm using a heavy duty, I think it's called, uh, I don't know, I'll post, I'll post a link down there in the video description, but you can see they're like two inch squares. Now, this is the laying box and the laying boxes are all set up to where we can access them from the outside of the coop. So you don't have to go in there in the chicken poop in order to access your eggs. And I have a little shock right here. So we close it like that and we have a latch or we release and it automatically stays up. Just like that. Pretty cool. We'll go around here to the front and we'll show you. I've got a double latch system here. My wife has trouble with the bottom latch, as you can tell. But inside the chicken coop, and it's going to be nasty because chickens live here, guys. That's it. It's a little bit nasty in there right now. But inside the chicken coop, I've got two roosting poles. There are nesting boxes, and I have a hanging feeder. It's important to hang your feeder. It causes less food waste. If you put it down on the ground, the chickens will scratch all through it. And the next thing you know, all your food's on the ground and covered with chicken poop. You don't want that. So that's the chicken coop. That's what it is. I call this the perfect chicken coop. It's done awesome. It stays open to air. We live here in North Carolina with bugs. <laughs> we live here in North Carolina where we don't get a whole lot of really, really frigid weather. If you did get frigid weather, you just wrap this in plastic and then unwrap it in the summertime. Chickens need air, need fresh air. We need fresh air. So that's it guys. I just wanted to show you the chicken coop today. I wanted to show you a cool idea for a little treat for your chickens. And we'll get you some footage here at the end and the credits of the chickens just pecking this thing and going to town. It's gonna be a good time. Thanks a lot guys. Please be sure you pound that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'd really love to have you back here on the Stony Ridge farm. And again, at the end of this video, I'll put a link to the chickens playlist. It's everything chickens, all sorts of stuff from raising baby chicks to building chicken coops to raising meat birds, to processing everything. All right, thanks a lot. See you next time. Woo!